Hello guys, this is second video of Cake PHP tutorial for beginner series from uh, wingnitty.com. In this video, we are going to detail how to create a new Cake PHP project on NetBeans using PHP Cake PHP framework plugin. We will also see that how to install this plugin on NetBeans. So all you Cake PHP lover know like uh, setting up a new Cake PHP project manually seems to be too troublesome and time consuming game most of the time and manual setup of a new Cake PHP production takes uh, 3 to 4 minutes because you have to do sort of settings, creating the database, uh, changing your cipher values and changing your salt values also whereas after watching this video, you would be able to create a new Cake PHP production in just 30 seconds or less without taking care of your configuration settings. So let's start learning Cake PHP on NetBeans. So first of all, open your NetBeans IDE, go to your tool section and click on plugin this is the part uh, where we have to just check uh, whether this plugin is installed or not so whomsoever is not uh, having this plugin they can just install using these steps go to available plugin and just go to search and type cake php so you will have one plugin that is uh, so called PHP Cake PHP framework. Just click on this and say install. So it will ask you for installation. So just click on the next and just say I accept the terms in all of the license agreements and just say install. So it's downloading the plugins. So now you see the plugin has been successfully installed. Now let's move to finish. And now close this window. Or you can just check whether this has been installed. So this has been already installed. You can see this that uh, the plugin is over here. PHP, Cake PHP framework. So now close this one. Now our second step is to create the database. So let's do this. Make sure your uh, Apache and SQL is working good. Okay, let's move to admin section. So I have these uh, databases already on my system. Now let's uh, create a new database. let's say create database now database name is uh, let's say wing nitty users and say ok so now you see my database has been created just go to your MySQL and just say refresh so this database has been created now let's move to NetBeans and just uh, click on new project now say PHP PHP application say next and type your project name over here wingnity users and just live now say next and uh, just if you want to make changes to your uh, local web so you can do it from here otherwise just go to next now from this uh, window you have to just select the cake php php web framework so just click on this you have to wait for a few seconds because it would be downloaded uh, or it would check from the cakephp uh, dot org for the latest and uh, stable versions or uh, all the possible versions are available with them 
so you can just create the database just see the details if you want to just close this one and uh, localhost login is root password is uh, admin database name is wingnetty users and say ok and uh, so this is very important thing guys like uh, here you have to pick uh, the most appropriate version of cake php you want to use for your cake php production so let's uh, move to cakephp.org to check which of the stable version cakephp.org is offering so as you can see it's 2.6.3 so let's move to netbeans once again and just move to your appropriate and stable version so it's a uh, sick 2.6.3 is available over here let's say next and just say finish so now it's adding the cake php web framework files to your uh, local host so guys as you can see that uh, our cake php project folder is ready for production and it is properly set up in netbeans automatically okay so let's uh, cross check uh, just go to the app and just move to your config and then uh, just uh, go to your database php okay so you can see this uh, we have already have all database details over here we don't have to manually set them up and uh, now let's move to code.php and just check if we have the proper salt and cipher seed values so you can see this uh, the new salt values and uh, the cipher seed values also so guys you understand that using this plugin you don't have to rename your uh, database dot php or you don't have to set them up manually okay and the second thing is you don't have to make changes to your cipher seed or salt security setting and also don't forget you don't have to uh, just uh, download the zip folder and unzip and other uh, troublesome operations so now let's uh, check if uh, this is open properly over here so let's go to your uh, local and say wingnity your project name cake php project name okay so you can see the everything is running good now let's check if uh, the same tool offers the different cipher and salt values for different projects or not so let's create for that we have to just uh, close this one and let's close this one also so let's uh, create a new project once again to cross check say next and uh, let's say wingnity test cake and say next say next uh, and just uh, type it and see details take okay say next and let's say fit so as you can see we have just uh, recently created a new project to cross check whether it's uh, let's close this one and uh, this is my core php open this and let's move to the salt and see for seed values okay so this is the salt value and open your notepad just this one I'm just opening this just to demonstrate and com uh, like uh, compare for both the values from different projects and let's move to my old project and just go to the configuration uh, file and let's move to core PHP and this is my core PHP from the old production let's 
copy this one and let's compare this one so you can see that we have created two different projects using the same plugin and it always offers a different salt and cipher seed so that's all for this video guys we hope you have enjoyed this video once again and uh, we request you to share this video over your social network like this video and post your comment thank you and stay connected for more cake php tutorials